So if you caught my live stream yesterday on Instagram, you guys may have noticed that I unboxed a brand new offering from Jack Wolf. This is the Pioneer Jack, and I've handled a ton of Jack Wolf knives. You guys have seen them here on the channel, so I always know what to expect, right? You got your premium packaging for this one. You get your Pioneer Jack tin, all custom artwork on the inside. You get your pog, of course. Then you get your leather slip, which comes with every Jack Wolf slip joint. You have your microfiber cloth, which every knife is wrapped in. And then now you get two of these stickers. So then that way you can put one on something and then the other one can live in its tin, kind of like a collectible. And the Pioneer Jack, I went with something that's completely new to Jack Wolf. This is a full DLC coated titanium Pioneer jigged titanium you got the full dlc coating on everything even the blade and this thing is sick you got tons of room very ergonomic the walk and talk is always money on something like this you have a nail nick right at the top there so you could use that nail nick but you have enough purchase to be able to open that up like always Jack Wolf just never fails with their packaging, with their knives. So like I said, I always know what to expect. So I thought for this video, I'd show this knife to someone who doesn't really handle pocket knives in the, in the first place, and someone who definitely doesn't handle slip joints, and that is my girlfriend, Lexi. And I think she's working right now, but I think we're just gonna barge in and uh, see what she thinks about this. You're about to get the just full on truest experience from someone that doesn't know anything about knives. I'm pretty excited for it. Let's check it out. All right, so I pulled Lexi aside and she knows of Ben Donnie, she knows of Jack Wolf, but she's never unboxed things, right? Like knives get sent to me and, and I unbox them and I record them and I carry them. So first, let's get impressions on the packaging. So this is what you normally get from a Jack Wolf knife. Like you always get this black box and the inside is different. I think it's nice packaging. It's not just a basic box. It kind of reminds me of like when I get makeup. <laughs> yeah, this tube thing. So all the artwork is always custom for the knife that's being released. So this one's called the Pioneer Jack. It's supposed to be a farming knife. So it looks like a wolf with like a Plague Doctor-esque hat on it. Very cool. Oh. It's a little pog. That's cool. It's a pog like a paper coin. Lexi's too young to know what pogs are. <laughs> <laughs> I like that this is pink. I knew she'd like the pink microfiber. That's the leather slip that comes in. They give you One a leather that. slip too? Yeah. Ben thinks of everything. They give you a leather slip, a microfiber, a pog. I love the smell of leather. Yep. Very nice. And then on the inside. I love stickers. So you get two stickers in there. Yep. One to keep in the tin and one to put on something. Nice. Where's cool. the knife? <laughs> this is a knife. So this is the knife that went in there. First mm -hmm. impressions. Um, it's heavy. Yeah. It's hefty. It won't slip out of your, your pocket and like fly out, you know? Um, well, it's I a like... slip joint. So normally you would put it inside this and then this goes in your pocket. I like this. Yeah. The scaly thing. So that's jigged titanium. That's like something new that he hasn't been doing till now. So it's like a process where you make all those little mm -hmm. indentations in the titanium. But the knife feels heavier because it's full titanium too, which is something new for him as well. This might be like a stupid observation, but I like how little <laughs> the screws are. <laughs> Good job, Ben. <laughs> Good job on picking little screws. <laughs> I told you it's weird. Now the question is, can you open it? Can she open the slip joint? I believe in you. Oh, oh, yeah! <laughs> and one more. Nice. I learned a thing or two. What'd you, what'd you think of you opening it? Um, it's not easy. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little inconvenient. Like if I had this in my pocket and like someone was like chasing me or trying to rob me or kill me. like Well, they... you're not going to fight with a slip joint first and foremost because they don't lock. <laughs> <laughs> that would happen and you'd end up crushing your fingers. So you're not gonna fight with the slip joint. This is meant for for hard tasks, but not like stabbing through something. What do you think? What'd you think of the of the opening of it? Besides it being hard, is that something that if it were softer, would you like it more? Do you like that it's a little tougher? 
Um, I like that it's tougher in the sense, like, if a child picked this up, they'd have a very difficult time opening this. Right. Me, personally, I don't think I'd carry one of these. Because <laughs> if I ever tried to use it, someone would laugh at me for, like... Well, you gotta practice it. I also didn't know how to how to properly open and close Jesus Christ. <laughs> Before you close it, do this. What do you think? Does that feel good? Don't press down on that because it doesn't lock. Okay. So what do you think of that? What do you think of the finish too? Because this is a new. He normally yeah. doesn't do like an all black. The all black is really sleek. It reminds me of another knife that you have that I really like. Mm, you talked about it on your live stream Mordex. as well. Mordex. Yep, I like that. This is, is this? It's like Wait, a... let me guess. Is this? Satin matte? No. Oh. It's a DLC coated. Satin is like the chef knives from Vera. Yeah, but this one's shiny like that. Yeah, but you don't see, there's a coating of this. Like, you don't get a naturally black knife okay. from steel. It's gonna make me sound so stupid. <laughs> I think this is great. Everybody's gonna laugh at me. How much do you think something like this costs? Knowing the knife world, $2.50. Oh, that's pretty close. Yes. Yeah. $2.99. I was yeah. going to say 300 It's 300 Very close. All right. So now that we've gotten an expert's opinion, I'm going to go over some specs real quick and show you guys the absolute beauty that is this Pioneer Jack. Quick specs on the Pioneer Jack. Overall length, we got 6.7 inches and blade length, we have a 2.9 inch blade. As far as the materials go, like I mentioned, this is in full titanium with that jig pattern on both sides of the scales, which is sweet. And it's full DLC coated, which is awesome. I've yet to own a full DLC coated slip joint of any kind. So when Ben reached out asking which one I wanted to check out, this one called my name. I love the fact that the blade has this really nice swedge along the top as well that is very, very sleek. And overall, I mean, this thing feels amazing in the hands. The ergonomics on this one might just be some of the best, um, just because that little curvature here fits so nicely in my hand. And I wear medium, large gloves or so. So with this drop, you get a ton of variety. So of course, you got the full DLC, jigged titanium, you have one in Ultum, you have one in full TI that's smooth with a hand satin blade, you have one with fat carbon toxic storm scales, and lastly you have the fat carbon dark matter blue. So a ton of variety. I personally love this one, but that Ultum one, it's calling my name. It's $299 for one of these beauties, standard pricing like every other Jack Wolf slip joint and they're gonna be available at your favorite retailers. For me, my man Brian Blade Capone is gonna have them in stock, so make sure to check them out. Links will be down below for them. And these do drop today, September 22nd at 11 a.m. PT or 2 p.m. Eastern, which is my time zone. So make sure to keep those notifications on. Make sure you guys follow Jack Wolf Knives as well. That way you can stay on top of not only this drop, but every other drop moving forward. There is some interesting, and amazing stuff coming soon. I wish I could uh, share it with you guys, but that is it guys. If you enjoyed this kind of video, let me know down below. It was super fun just having Lexi not only check out a knife because she is not as deep into the hobby, of course, as I am, but her thoughts are like completely unbiased. Her mind hasn't been warped by the EDC world just yet. So maybe we should do a video where I line up a whole bunch of Jack Wolf knives and she just checks out all of them. Um, or maybe we just do it with different styles of pocket knives or slip joints. What do you guys think? But yes, that is it. Look at this beauty. I keep showing it off because I'm just so excited. It is just such a stunner. Um, thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video.